Today I'm going to be making some painting panels like this, only a little bit bigger. My wife Nancy Phillips uses these for her abstract art. Uh, it consists basically of a uh, pine side and a quarter inch plywood top. And um, I've got some one by four pine here that I'm going to split down the middle to create a width that's more like this. And I've got some decent uh, MDF core plywood here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this to the table saw and rip it to width. My two 1x4s are now four 1 by about uh, 1 and 5 eighths. And now we're ready to make the tops. I'm making three 12 by 12 panels and I want to cut each of these tops to be slightly over 12 inches in both directions. I've already ripped it to be slightly over 12 inches this way and now I've set this stop block to give me the same dimension on this axis. In the end, I'm going to need uh, 12 pieces that are exactly 12 inches long. But to get started, I'll cut everything to 13 inches, and that'll give me some leeway when I go to cut my miters. So now I've got 12 pieces that are exactly the same length and my next step is to cut a miter on one end of all of them. It's exactly 45 degrees. Now I've got all 12 pieces cut with one miter on the end. Now I need to cut a miter on the other end. Okay, so now I've got my three sets of 12 inch sides and my three tops and we're ready to glue up. I have a lot of different clamping options here in the shop, but uh, for small pieces like this, especially when I'm going to be doing repetitions, I like to use this picture frame clamp. It's a pretty simple one that just works off threaded rods, and it lets me put in my pieces and operates kind of like an extra set of hands. I keep a square handy to check things just before I tighten it up. And although glue would work perfectly well to hold this together by itself, I'm going to save time by using a, a finish nailer to tack everything in place so I can finish up one, take it out of the clamp, and, and load up the clamp again with the next one. So what I usually do is put glue on uh, half of the miters and I'm going to be rubbing them together to spread it. There's no real rush to this. In fact, if the glue gets another minute or so to soak into the wood and get a little tacky, that'll actually make things easier.
I'll let that sit for a little bit and then when I remove this from the clamp I'll fire a couple more nails into it. I'm going to take a quick break while the glue on these sets up then we'll come back and I'll put the tops on. Okay so I'm just about ready to uh, put the tops on these and that won't be too much trouble but before I do that I'm going to take a few minutes with my block plane and take off any imperfections I have, uh, especially at the corners, because I want, I want this top to sit very tight to that top edge. Okay, I've got these cleaned up now, and I'm ready to uh, put some glue on these and attach my panels. Uh, for this part, I've switched my nail gun to a brad nailer, which shoots a very fine, almost a wire brad. Uh, and it's not really necessary for strength, but it'll hold my panel in place while the glue is setting up. What I like to do is uh, put the panel on about right, squish it around a little bit to spread the glue, and then just feel with, with my hands, with my fingers, to see that I've got a little overlap everywhere because my, my pine frame is perfectly 12 inches square. I cut my panels a little wider than that, so I've got a little lip there, which is good. I'm at my little router table now for my almost final step. Remember, my plywood is just a little bit oversized. I plan that in advance because now I'm going to use this trimming bit to take off that edge and make everything perfectly smooth on the sides. So now all my edges are nice and smooth and all I have left to do really is to uh, fill nail holes like you see here and at the same time look for any gaps that I see along my outer edges. So I use this, it's, it's a product called Wonder Fill and it seems to stay moist longer than most uh, similar wood fill products. And when this dries, I can come back with my power sander and uh, ultimately with uh, just a piece of sandpaper and uh, smooth it all out and take off all the sharp edges uh, here and here and here because paint won't stick to a very sharp edge. It needs to be rounded slightly. Don't forget to visit my website at jamescrandall.com to get occasional updates on new paintings, shows, and workshops. Just leave your email address to join the newsletter list. Thanks for watching.